Let's take a look at Guess and Check. When Savannah went to the farmer's market, she spent $13 on necklaces that cost $8 and jars of jam that cost $5. How many necklaces and jars of jam did she buy? Okay, well, when they ask us to use Guess and Check, that means we want to take a reasonable guess and work it out to see if it gives us the correct answer. And if not, we'll then adjust our guess and try again. So what I want to do is I want to guess a combination of necklaces and jars of jam that I think might add up to $13. Now notice $8 and $5 each. She couldn't have bought too many because she only spent a total of $13. So I'm going to start with a really low guess. Like maybe she bought one necklace and one jar of jam. Okay, well if she bought one necklace for $8 each, that would be $8 and one jar of jam for $5 each, that would be $5. Okay, eight plus five adds up to 13. So that checks out, she must have bought one necklace and one jar of jam. At the pet store, Maya spent $31 on dog treats and cat toys. If cat toys cost $4 and dog treats cost $9, how many of each did she buy? Okay, so let's, let's make a guess here. Okay, so let's say we're gonna guess how many dog treats. Okay, and notice the dog treats were $9 each. Okay, so I'm gonna put $9 times, right, whatever our guess is for dog treats, we're going to multiply that by nine. And we're also going to guess how many cat treats she bought. And notice cat, I'm sorry, cat toys were $4 each. So we're going to multiply $4 times whatever our guess is for the number of cat toys. And we're trying to make it add up to a total of $31. All right, so you might want to just start with, I don't know, let's say we start with two and two. And then we can just adjust and see if we need to go a little higher or a little lower from there. So if she bought two dog treats at $9 each, that would be two times nine. And then she also bought two cat toys at, two at $4 each, that would be two times four. Okay, well two times nine is 18, and two times four is eight. So if we add that up, 18 plus eight, we get $26. Okay, so $26 is a little bit too low. So that doesn't quite work out. So to make this a little bit higher, let's check if she bought three dog treats. But three times nine is already 27. So I think if I do two cat treats again, it's gonna to be too many. So let's try going a little lower and saying one cat treat. All right, and let's check this out and see if it works. Okay, well, if she buys three dog treats at $9 each and one cat toy at $4, well, three times nine would be 27 and one times four would be four. Okay, well when we add that together, 27 plus four, it gives us 31. So notice when we're doing guess and check, after we make our first guess, we're adjusting it based on our answer. Since 26 was a little too small, it was smaller than 31, I increased my number of dog treats. Okay, so our answer was three dog treats and one cat toy. A gym owner has some red weights and some blue weights. The red weights are eight kilograms each and the blue weights are nine kilograms each. The owner has two weights and they weigh 17 kilograms in all. How many of each color weight does he have? 
Okay. Well, in this case, they told us he has two weights and they weigh 17 kilograms. So if he has two, he either has two red, two blue, or one red and one blue. So let's see, if he had two red, well, those are eight kilograms each. So that would be two times eight or 16 kilograms. Okay, that doesn't quite work because we need 17. Okay, if he had two blue, that's not gonna quite work out either because the blue weights they told us are nine kilograms. Well, two times nine would give us 18. So it must be one of each. Let's try it out. If he has one red and one blue, well, one red would weigh eight kilograms and the one blue weight would weigh nine kilograms. And you can see that that's gonna work out. Eight plus nine is gonna give us 17 kilograms. So that must be the answer, one of each weight. Hayden is taking his daycare to the movies. Adult tickets are $2 and child tickets are $9. If he spends a total of $11, how many tickets of each type did he buy? Okay. Well, this one, I think I can guess pretty quickly because it can't be all adult tickets because two doesn't go evenly into 11. And it can't be more than one child ticket because nine is already most of 11. So let's say it's one child ticket, right? One times, one times nine would be $9 already in children's tickets. Well, how much more would we need to get to 11? We would only need one $2 ticket. So we could say one adult ticket, right? One times $2, that would give us another $2. And then when we add that together, our nine plus two would give us 11. At a fair, Jacob notices that stuffed animals cost $4 and foam swords cost $9. If he has a total of $30, how many of each can he buy? Okay, so we wanna see, let's use A for stuffed animals and F for foam swords. Okay, we know the animals, however many he, he bought, were $4 each, so we'd have to multiply that by $4. And we know the foam swords were $9 each, so however, however many he buys, we'd have to multiply by $9. All right, so making a guess. Now, let's say, I mean, swords are $9. So the most swords he could have bought would be three, right? Because three times nine is already 27. So let's see. That doesn't leave very many for stuffed animals. Let's try to say, let's say one. Now, if we tried this, three foam swords and one stuffed animals, well, three times $9 would give us $27 in foam swords, and one times $4 would give us $4 in stuffed animals, okay? And this is a little bit too big because 27 plus four adds up to 31 and not 30. Okay, so that doesn't quite work out. So he must have bought less foam swords. Let's say he bought two foam swords. Okay, well they were $9 each. All right, so two times nine would give us 18. Well, let's be a little bit strategic with our guess here. If he, are, if he spent 18 of his $30, well 30 minus 18 would mean he still has $12 left to spend. So how many stuffed animals do you think he could buy with that remaining $12? I think three, right? Three times four would be 12. So let's try that. If he bought three stuffed animals at $4 each, three times four is 12. And that checks out because 18 plus 12 is gonna give us $30 exactly. Okay, so three stuffed animals and two foam swords works.